Marvelous people, good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you ready to lift up our Savior this morning? And bless our Lord this morning? How many of you are God chasers? How many of you will continue to chase after him? Over and over every day of our lives, we continue to chase after you, Jesus. No matter what I have to do, Lord, I need you more and more. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do, Lord, I need you more and more. Help me say I'm, I'm chasing, chasing after you, no matter what I have to do, Cause I need you I need more and more. I'm chasing after I'm you. Chasing after no you. matter what, what I have to do, I need you more and more. More and more. 
to lift your hands and bless the Lord this morning. More and more and more and more and more. Lord, we need you more. Hallelujah. Say more and more and more. More and more. Hallelujah. Now, if you want to be in the Lord's presence this morning, come on and lift your hands and worship with us this morning. If you want to get into his name this morning, come on and lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah.
need that this morning Don't stop worshiping his name I give you all the praise You give him all the praise, yeah If I could just praise, yeah. hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. We desire to press, hallelujah, into your presence, hallelujah. Help us to press, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. Holiness, holiness is what you want for me. What I long for Holiness. Holiness Is what I need Holiness Holiness Holiness, Holiness Is what you want for me Thank you Jesus Righteousness Righteousness is what I long for. Righteousness is what I need. That's what I oh, need. Righteousness, righteousness is what you want for me. Oh, 
is what I long for. Brokenness is what I need. I gotta be broken. Brokenness, brokenness is what you want from me. So take my mind. you God we bless you God hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. God. hallelujah. come hallelujah. on the water just come back here it's what you want from, from me. me just sing that over us hallelujah hallelujah come on lift your hands it's what you want from me it's what you need from me minister. it's what you It's what you need from me. It's what you want from me. Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. It's what you need. It's what you want Let us be broken bread, broken bread, and poured out wine. Hallelujah. It's what you Hallelujah. Want from me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It's what you want from me. 
hallelujah. Come on, lift your hallelujah. hands. Say, Lord, and I give you what you want. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, come on. Say, Lord, and I give you what you want. Come on, say, Lord, and I give you what you want. You know, I looked up the lyrics to this, and some lyrics say it's what you want for me. And then some lyrics say it's what you want from me. Either one will work. Either one is his will. It's what you want for me, and it's what you want from me. Somebody lift your hands and say, holiness become thine house. Come on, lift your hands and say, holiness become my house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, do it again. Holiness become my house. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Come on. And I hear the scripture say, be ye holy. For I am holy. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and say, he's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. Come on, let's just freestyle and worship for a minute. He's holy, he's holy, he's holy. He's holy, he's holy, he's holy. I want to be holy like you. Make me holy, make me holy. Make me holy. Oh, make me holy. Come on. Come on, just between you and God, just about 30 seconds. Lord, make me holy. I need more holiness in my life. I need more righteousness in my life. Sometimes I can be hard. I need more brokenness in my life. The Bible says he's close to the broken. Oh, yes, Lord. Holy like you. I want to be holy. Holy like you. Ah. I want to be holy, holy like you. Come on. I want to be holy, <laughs> holy like you. I want to be, everybody can't get in this flow. Glory to God. Holy like you. Oh, I feel the presence. I want to be holy. Who's consecrating in here? <laughs> holy like you. My tongue needs more holiness. Want to be holy. Holy like you. Want to be holy. Yeah. Holy like you. Wave those hands. Come on. Hey, I want to be holy. Holy like you, I want to be holy, holy like you, Holy Spirit purify me, cleanse and make me new, I want to be holy, holy like you. I want to be holy, holy like you, holy like you. I want to be holy, I want to be holy, holy like you, holy like you. Lift your hands, Holy Spirit, purify me, cleanse and make me new. I want to be holy. Holy like you, yeah. <laughs> Wave those hands. I want to be holy, holy like you, holy like you, Lord. I want to be holy, Woo! holy like you, holy like you. Last time, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, purify me, cleanse and make me. I want to be holy, holy like you. Come on, somebody shout to God with a voice that's right. Come on, don't you know in heaven all they say is holy, 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 holy. The angels cry holy. God is holy. God 
God is holy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is holy. That's why when I come in his presence, I reverence him. God is holy. place. 
praise. You're the king and you and God is holy. That's why I don't play with God. I don't try to play with the face of God. Because God is holy. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Somebody say, I reverence your name. I reverence your name. Some, of, some folk come to church to play, but I reverence his name. I reverence his name. I reverence his name. I reverence his name. I try to fix myself when I come into this presence. Hallelujah. I can't draw my mind in when I come in this presence. Holy. God is holy. What you say, Hosanna? He's what? God is holy. He's holy. God is holy. We're moving. Hallelujah. God is we move and say holy 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 come on this is just a rehearsal <laughs> when we get to heaven we're gonna really say holy 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 the elders around the throne holy 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 we bow down and we cast our crown I know something you can't get with it because it ain't about a house and a car. It ain't, it ain't about what you know. This is about the holiness. Everybody say holy. And we all cry. Lift your voice and say holy. Everybody say. Lift your voice and say Oh, y'all hear that sound in here? What? Lift your voice and say, Holy. They sung it, if I can press, if I can chase, if I can press. And when you get in that thing, ain't no pressing right now. All you're doing is just linger. I tell them a whole time. You just want to linger there. Buckets of glory. And we say, and we say, no music, come on, let's listen. And we say, everybody say, oh, it ain't the music, it's our voice. Come on, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we cry. It's the song of the redeemed, say. We all cry. All right, everybody, hallelujah. Come on and say. We can lift that again. Glory to God. Holy. Come on, wave those hands. Don't clap, wave. It's too high for a high cl a clan clap right now. Come on, wave. This is how you stay holy. This is how you get holy. Maybe you've been wilding out. This is how you draw it back in. And we cry, yeah. and we cry, holy, and we cry, 
together for the Lord hallelujah come on you can do better than that I didn't say for me I said put your hands together for Jesus let's give him a standing ovation today because he's worthy to be praised he's worthy to be praised I don't know about you but if he was to mark iniquity I would not be standing here right now because he's holy but he still chose me he still called my name he still looked upon me. He still saved me. And I want you to know it ain't because I deserved it. It ain't because I crossed every T and dotted every I. But it was because of the goodness of Jesus. It's because he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Come on, let's give God some glory in this place. It says he's holy. He's holy. I don't know about you, but I'm like, Paul, I got to die daily. It's still some stuff I need some help in. But he's holy. My father is holy. My God is holy. My king is holy. My Lord is holy. My all in all is holy. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship him today. Oh, he's holy. He said, holiness without no man shall see the Lord. So we got to work on being holy. Be ye holy as I am holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ought to praise God for his mercy on today. You ought to praise God for his mercy on today. A God like him that loves somebody like us. A God like him that loves somebody like me. Oh, I got to bless him for that. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him while you go to your seats. Hallelujah. We just want to take out this time. It's hard to come out of this, Bishop. It's hard. Then they sung those songs about being God chasers and about pressing our way into his presence. Then the song say, you call me your own. So, Lord, I give you me. You own the world, but yet you still want me. He owns the whole wide world. And I want you to know there's some people that's living better than us. There's some people that's walking in a, in a way that God could just say like Job. But he still chose you and I. Oh, I, that's something for me to praise him for. Because I don't know about you, but I still got some work to do, mother. So today I just want to say thank you, Lord. I just want to say thank you like Bishop say. Sometimes we got to take out the time to put a smile on his face. 
You think God don't like to be glorified. And the Bible tell me when the praises go up, huh, the blessings come down. So today we praise you and we thank you, God. Just want to take out the time to welcome you. See some familiar faces today. Our friend Azure is here. Amen. First time visitors, come on, stand up on your feet today. Come on, if you're here for the first time, if you can and you're able, come on, come on, let's give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a co-worker of my sister's. And when I tell you, he has a heart of gold. A heart. God told us one day we was praying for him. He said, he got my heart. And he told us how he was going to bless him. So guess what, y'all? He's in the right place at the right time. Give God glory. We praise God for you all, for you being here today, Deju, and any other first time visit, because you could have went somewhere else. But you decided in your heart and in your mind when God tells you, I'm going to go. Even those that are online, if you're here with us for the first, put a seven in the comments so we can put something down there and we can recognize you as, our, as being here for the first time. We want to thank God. We're looking for God to move on today. I don't know about you, but this consecration is helping me. When you stop feeding this flesh, you can go places you couldn't go at first. You can feel some stuff in the spirit room, stuff that wasn't right. You look at it and say, and, and you keep on praising him. You're not worried like you was. You're not fretting. So I give God glory. We want to welcome you all in the, to the uh, presence of God. We want to welcome you all to enjoy the word that has been prepared for you all. Because we know God got a word. How many of you know God got a word? So we just want to take out the time to tell you, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Actually, you ought to get up. Let's walk around and just fellowship. Just We're going to move on. This we go at that real quick, okay? All right then. So we want to praise God. We're going to ask Sister Button and Sister Jamie. Yeah, because we've been in this thing for a minute. We're going to let them come forth and, and present to you all what need to be. Amen. God bless you all. Let's give God glory for them as they come. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's hard to come out of that. That's I'm going to give it to Sister Jamie first. You want to talk first because it's hard coming out of that. Okay, I'll take it first, sis. But, yeah, it is hard to come out of that. God is holy. He is holy. Um, I'm up here to just announce for the um, school, supply, school supply drive. Yeah. When I told you, um, Hosanna, y'all showed up and showed out, when y'all go back there and see that school supply table, y'all going to be like, oh, y'all going to pat yourself on the back. So we definitely appreciate that. Um, Yes, 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 yes. Definitely give yourself a um, hand clap for that. Now, uh, after church, whatever child need um, school supplies, just go back there and someone will be back there to assist. And that's immediately after church. Also, are we going to, um, we're, we're going to do a back to school bash. And this is a, a two way thing here um, between Lace and Sister Buttons. It's going to be September 17th, which is Saturday, so on a Saturday, September 17th. So students, we have not forgot about you this year. So, Sister Buttons said, I do something every year for them. And I was, um, I had surgery, so I couldn't really kind of get things together. And then they said, well, we got you. We're going to partner and we're going to do some things. Yeah, we're going to partner and we're going to do some things together. So on September 17th, it's our back to school bash um, at the Steve Reddick center on clay road which is only maybe half a mile away from the church i would definitely provide the address for you um until that uh, uh, every sunday until um i'm going to make some of the announcement and then i'm going to let um buttons make the other part of the announcement it the doors open at 11 30. um we will have a paint party and that's what um buttons is going to speak on we will have food and we will have door prizes so please come please come we want to keep our our kids encouraged we want to let them know that you're going to have a blessed year we're declaring a blessed school year for you we're declaring that you're going to be at the top of your class by the end of the school year whatever you think you're going to struggle with you're not going to struggle with you're going to understand it in this clarity that you can even teach it to others so that's what we're declaring over our uh, our um, students this year that's right. That's right. We are word church. We got word children. <laughs> and we are anointed to do that. So just to elaborate on the paint party. So it will be a paint party for the youth and we have paintings for the baby. So no one will be left out. Um, we will be serving food like Sister Jamie said. 
door prizes. We're excited. And we have the event is on September the 17th, but we have a deadline to turn the money in. It's $15 per child, and the deadline will be the Sunday before, which is September the 11th. So if everybody can get it in, get it in. If you need help, if you have more than one child and you say, hey, Sister Budden, Sister Jamie, I'm trying to swing it, talk to us. Talk to us. We will not leave no child behind. We want to make sure everyone participate. And students, I'm, I'm sorry, students, kids, if you want to invite your friends, have them to tell them to turn in their $15. They can give it to you. We just need it in by the 11 and we want to make sure we get an accurate head count so everybody can paint. We're going to paint, then we're going to eat. It's going to be a glorious time in God. <laughs> well, we got some door prizes. Yeah, got door prizes and they some good ones too. <laughs> I love you guys. We love you guys. Lace is on the move. All right. Amen. So save the date. Somebody shout save the date. All right, hallelujah, that's good stuff. And we're at a community center here, so we got more than enough room and more than enough space, amen. So bring them on, amen, hallelujah. We're gonna have an awesome time imparting into, amen, our children for fun, 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 amen, hallelujah. How many believe this is a successful school year? A little better amen right there, bless the Lord. How many believe a successful school year for elementary, middle school, high school, college? Amen. All of the above. Come on. Daycare, after school, before school. Bless the Lord. It is our custom that we pray for all of our children before. Amen. Hallelujah. They go back into school. Some of our youth and young adults are already back in school, some for a week, some for two. Amen. Bless the Lord. But right in this anointing, I could wait till the end. I'm going to pray for them right now. Is that all right? Bless you. Because we move while the what? Anointing is moving. Bless the Lord. So all if you're in school, bless the Lord. Our young people come up and surround this altar at this time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I need some folk that's just in agreement. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That God is able. Hallelujah. To do everything that he said he is going to do. Hallelujah. How many know there's power in prayer? Hallelujah. There is power in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bible says the fire, amen, will not go off from the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How many of the Lord promised to bless you and your seed? Your children and your children's children. Amen. Hallelujah. So I believe we got some mothers and fathers. Bless the Lord. And hallelujah. Grandmothers and fathers. Amen. And hallelujah. Family members. Praise the Lord. That's believing God. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just lift your hands. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm having intercessors just come and stand behind them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's hedge them in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bahia. Let's hedge them in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray corporately. Amen. And I just want you to connect your faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name. How we love you, how we adore you. And Father, we acknowledge you, Father, in every season. And we acknowledge you in this season of back to school. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. You've graced us to come up that season to come around one more time. And Father, we thank you that you are Lord over this school year. Father, we cover this 22-23 school year in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you promised that you will bless our going in and our coming out. And so, Father, we acknowledge you to bless these youth and young adults, God, as they enter into school, as they've already entered. Father, I thank you for a grace for this school year. I thank you, God, for your anointing that covers our young people in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The anointing destroys every yoke 
a bondage of fear in the name of Jesus. Every challenge that may come their way in the name of Jesus. Father, we speak good success over them in their academics, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you touch every subject. Hallelujah, that you would touch every teacher. You would touch, Father, everything. If they're, if they're in sports, Father, cover them. In the name of Jesus, thank you that they excel even greater this year. Thank you that you help every struggle. In the name of Jesus, thank you that you help God with comprehension and that you help with understanding and that you give them discipline to study and discipline God to focus like never before. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over our children. In the name of Jesus, oh God, come on, come on, plead the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. Surround them with favor as a shield. In the name of Jesus, huh? we say that no weapon formed against them shall be able to prosper. Hallelujah. Every campus that's represented here. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you that you've given your angels charge over these. In the name of Jesus, over every campus, oh God. Help them through transition, oh God. Give them the anointing for great social habits. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Surround them with the right company, oh God. Help them to stand in the face of temptation. Help them to stand, oh God, in the midst of peer pressure. Thank you that behavior gets better. In the name of Jesus, thank you. We say this year will be different in the name of Jesus. We cover them. We cover every educator. We cover, God, every administration. We cover, oh God, thank you that our kids have favor. Yes, Lord. I lose favor on our children, oh God. They have favor with you and man. They have favor with their teachers. Shine your light on our students this year. Bless them. Keep them. Cause your face to shine upon them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bind violence in every campus. I bind, I bind violence. I bind shooting. I bind glory to God. Hallelujah. Attacks. Glory to God. These are covered. Touch them to and from school. Touch transportation. Touch every bus, every car rider. In the name, however they get to where they need to get touched in after school activities. I bind violence and fights and attacks and rebellion. I bind I, 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 the seed of rebellion. Be uprooted. Thank you for obedience in our children. Satan, I know you want to mess up some of these, but I say it will not work. They will not work. They will finish. Touch every senior this year. Every senior. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Thank you for touching credits. Thank you for cop. Thank you for hours. Father, be with our children. And we cover them in Jesus. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the anointing that destroys every yoke, in the name of Jesus, help us! We give you our children. We give them unto you, oh God. We turn them over to you, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you make the difference in their life. You make the difference in their life. Every school district, you make the difference. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Keep their bodies strong. Keep their emotions strong. In the name of Jesus. Move throughout their hormones, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Do it for your glory. We can't do it alone. We don't try to do it alone. Cover. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, we believe. We call it done. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands for victory. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, young people, say this. This is a good year for me. Come on, say, this is a successful year for me. Somebody, come on, say, this is my year. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands. Glory to God. Thank y'all. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I give you glory. And I give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. Woo. Hallelujah. The anointing is here. Hallelujah. Come on, we're going to ask our choir to prepare yourself. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to release the word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say it is so. How many of you trust God with your kids? Somebody say, I don't have no other choice. I don't have no other choice. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How's your neighbor say, you ready to hear the choir sing? Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. How many know he's a good God? How many know he's a mighty God? <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, hallelujah. Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Come on, just clap your hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. HFC, put your hands together. And you're in the hands of our choir. Hallelujah. Amen. Give them glory. Give them glory. Say we gotta get it ready. Yeah. All right. Praise him. Oh, come on and praise him. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? Isn't he holy? Ha! Come on, clap your hands with us. Come on. Come on, Tanner. Come on. Y'all stand, stand on your feet, help clap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on and give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to God. Hallelujah. In his name. I'm going to ask Sister Latasha, come on down. Give her some praise. Hallelujah. Oh 
Book of the enemy He wrote in my That my name is Victory He said that I've overcome No, I've already your name is hallelujah hallelujah I know my hallelujah glory to God victory that's my name glory to God hallelujah you got to say your name aka victory say your name better known as victory I know who I am you can do a better job for the choir this morning glory to God that's your church home choir. You can do better than that. I know who I am. No, my. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Next Saturday is baptism. Let's give God praise for baptism. Amen. Bless the Lord. We have 18 candidates going down in the water. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this week, amen, you've been baptized. You will be being baptized. You will be receiving communication. Amen. It will not be amen here at the church. Amen. It'll be off-site. Amen. Bless the Lord at 1030 a.m. Amen. So you'll be receiving communication this week. Bless the Lord. And we'll send it out to everyone because sometimes you just want to show up and be a witness. Amen. Hallelujah. Going down. Isn't that a wonderful? Amen. A public witness. Amen. Taking on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we thank God. Hallelujah for those souls going down in Jesus name. All right. Bless the Lord. How many ready for the word this morning? Heaven and earth will fade away, but his word will stand forever. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. I was going another direction. Amen. Hallelujah. And woke up this morning and the Lord changed my course. Amen. And so somebody needs it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, bless the Lord. I believe the glory is here. Amen. So we don't have to work hard. Amen. But that don't mean you get sleepy and lazy. Amen. Like some walls. All right. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Job 23, verse 10. Job 23, verse 10. Um, bless the Lord. Job 23, verse 10. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. But he knows the way that I take. And when he has tested me, I shall come forth as gold. Somebody know that other translation, pure gold. <laughs> pure gold. My topic is just three prophetic words that are resounding in my spirit. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Just repeat after me. He's preparing me. Come on, say it again. He's preparing me. He is preparing me. Bless the Lord. That's what I want to talk to you about this morning. He's preparing me. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, God is a God of preparation. He's a God of preparation. Y'all can be seated. He's a God of preparation. Everything he does is prepared. Amen. Amen. He said, I go away to prepare a place for you. God is a God of preparation. Even before Jesus came on the scene with his earthly ministry, he prepared the way. He, he, sent, he sent John the Baptist. Amen. As a voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Amen. And so, and so this morning, I want to focus upon Jesus preparing the way for us. Because, because uh, I, I, I want you to know, bless the Lord, that, that we need to examine, amen, of how the Lord takes the time to prepare us. Yes, Not necessarily, amen, referencing preparing us for heaven, even though we are preparing for heaven, but preparing us, his disciples, while we are living. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because as believers, I know we got a job to do. Yes, I got a job to do. You got a job to do. And the old song saying we can't get to heaven. Till we get through. Bless the Lord. I got a job to do. Bless the Lord. Job said here in the text, when he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Gold is tested by fire. Saints are tested by adversity. None of God's children, hallelujah, if they be honest, will say, I enjoy the refiner's fire. But all of us, experience it to one degree or another at one time or another. It may or may not always be a physical trial, hallelujah, but it is always a spiritual trial. Yes, and often we find ourselves when we're going through things in a gummit of emotions, anger, fear, despair, frustration, and questions like, why me? Why me, Lord? Why now? But as someone has said, God takes us into his dark room to develop our character. Our character is who we are when no one is watching. But true character comes out during the stormy times in our lives. Oh, yeah. Our character is not, is not defined and tested on the beach. 
you can turn me down a little bit in the monitor. Bless the Lord. We, we, our character is not defined, is not defined and tested on the beach. It is defined and tested during the storms. Shout it again. He's preparing me. It was a great preacher, C.H. Spurgeon, known as the Prince of Preachers, bless the Lord. And he said even back in the 1800s who experienced many physical and spiritual trials said that there is no education like adversity. I've derived more real benefit and permanent strength and growth in grace and every precious thing from the furnace of affliction than I ever derived from prosperity. Stars may seem, stars may be seen from the bottom of a deep well. And when they cannot be discerned, that they can be seen from the bottom of a deep well when they not when they cannot be discerned from the top of a mountain. So there are many things that are learned in adversity, which the prosperous man dreams not of. So I suggest to you, my brothers and my sisters this morning, that when you find yourself going through stuff, it's God's way of preparing us for the next level. I need you to say it again. He's preparing me. Uh, one, of, one of our dear members said last week that they've been saved for years now, but they find themselves in a position where they're now repenting more. Struggling with very issues in life. Is that all right? Can I suggest to you, he is preparing you. Because he prepares us because sometimes we pass the test the first time. And other times we simply take the same test over and over until we get it right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, what's your lap around this thing? Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we're not often prepared during the sunshine in our lives, we are prepared during the storms. Oftentimes not just prepared on the mountaintops, we're prepared in the valley. Somebody shout again, he's preparing me. Moses was not prepared in the palace. He was prepared on the backside of the mountain. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not prepared in the king's court. They were prepared in the fiery furnace. Peter was not prepared when he walked on water. He was prepared when he began to sink. Joseph was not prepared wearing his coat of many colors. He was prepared when he was in the pit. I can't get no bad. Jesus did not prepare us while in the upper room. He prepared us on Calvary. Can I preach? Glory to God. The disciples experienced several mountaintop moments and in, the, in their time with Jesus. But when the storm arose while they were out on the Sea of Galilee, fear took over. Yes, sir. Amidst the roaring waves and with the boat rocking, Jesus' chosen ones failed to recall the lessons they had learned about the power and purposes of their leader. Even the appearance of Christ walking on the water didn't bring immediate release. When trouble strikes, sometimes we forget the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Anybody got knowledge of God? Hallelujah. And I want the knowledge of God to remain fresh. I need the knowledge of God to remain fresh when I'm going through a now situation. Because I don't know about what's going to keep you right now. What's going to keep you is your knowledge of God. What's going to keep you is who he's been to you. Because I remember what he did last time. And I remember how he made a way last time. And I remember how he fixed it for me last time. And last time I didn't have many options and I ain't got many options now. But some type of way he did it. We, 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 we struggle. Sometimes we struggle. Can I talk to you? We struggle to recall uh, answers to prayer. Specific guidance provided by the Holy Spirit and lessons learned in the previous crisis. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because And, and sometimes you can go through so much that only the present discomfort feels real. Right. Our minds spin and future implications and our troubled emotions inhibit clear thinking. And in our own strength, we lack sufficient resources and ability to, to, to meet life challenges. So God provides what we need. How many know our struggle is never a surprise to the Lord? Yeah. He knows everything we going through. Yeah. Glory to God. You know a whole pandemic didn't catch God by surprise. 
a national worldwide shutdown didn't catch God by. He knows everything we're going through. And more than that, he is orchestrating, hallelujah, our circumstances for his glory and our benefit according to his goodwill. Can I encourage you this morning? Romans 8 and 28, and we know. That all things work together for the good of them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose. Somebody say he's preparing me. We find we find perhaps the greatest words of comfort in Romans 8 and 28. It's the first three words. You know what those words are? And we know. Somebody shout and we know. As Christians, there are some things we ought to just know about the Lord. <laughs> Sometimes we ought to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that our God reigns. Is that all right? Hallelujah. It's not a conjuncture. Glory to God. This is not happenstance. This is not uh, perhaps. This is not a maybe. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No, this is absolutely found on the fact, and we know, that all things work together. I don't care how messy it is, how messed up, and we know. You may not know, but we know. Glory to God. That's why I can hold my hand up and go through stuff. As long as we live in this world, people will attempt to reconcile God's sovereign, sovereignty with human suffering. Glory to God. But Romans 8 and 28 assures us that no trial we face is wasted. Did you hear what I just said? No trial we face is wasted. God don't waste stuff. Even when he fed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread and it was something left over, he said, don't waste that. Pick that up. We go. We going to use all that. Oh, I feel the anointing. God, God always is at work for our good and his glory. And when we cannot comprehend why trials come and struggle to imagine that anything good can come from them, we can rest assured that God is in control. Is that all right? Why? Because he's preparing me. He's preparing me. Glory to God. Even when I'm going through bad stuff, he's preparing me. When, when you touch the supernatural realm, it changes the way you see things. The way you speak about life, how you go about life, when you see it from another dimension, it changes things. A supernatural turnaround is a divine encounter where God is reversing my circumstances, turns the negative around into a positive, and shifts my thoughts into a new direction. The footprint of God is so big that when he steps in, everything has to move. When God moves into our world, God steps between me and the situation, and God will fight the battle. Otherwise, if you're not in the realm of the supernatural, we tend to fight our own battles. See, you can know how close to God you are by how much you try to handle. I can't get nobody in here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when I learn how to stand still and see the salvation... You know you're real close to God when you want to go off and handle it yourself and you can't do nothing, you can't say nothing. You, get... you know you're real close to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, because you need to be spiritual and stay in the spirit if you're going to allow God to fight your battles. Is that all right? And I stopped by this afternoon to tell you that God's got your battles. He's coming between, he's coming in between that situation and you. And not only that, but he's coming in the midst of a, of a suddenly. Somebody shout suddenly. Now the thing about suddenly is you can't get ready for it. There's nothing you can do to make it happen. It just happens. That's why there are times when God puts together something that you could never have put together on your own. Is that all right? Glory to God. And even though it suddenly, even though it suddenly showed up, the truth is you've already been prepared for it. I can't get nobody in here. Hallelujah. Because God has the ability to interrupt your circumstance. Divine interruption prepares us for divine provision. We need to understand uh, that the thing we hold on to, hallelujah, glory to God, is not as good as what we're going to get. Sometimes what we're holding on to is not good as what we're going to get. And God interrupts our lives for a reason. Anybody ever had an interruption? Yes, yeah. Broke it right up. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Changed the whole course. 
change the whole direction. Thought I was going to park it here for a minute and found out, mm -mm. God is working in the background of our lives to ensure that we accomplish our life's purpose. Those of you who have told God that you will follow his will and establish his kingdom have been given assurance that he's working to open doors that are shut and create doorways that don't even exist to help us achieve our divinely inspired purposes. But oftentimes we don't see God operating. But yet he's there. You might not can see it, but he's behind us, in front of us, on the left, on the right. God got unseen hand guides and control. You don't even know it. He tearing down stuff, building stuff, dismissing stuff, blowing on stuff. Breaking up councils, breaking up things that's coming against you. Is that all right? Come on, give me Job 23, 8 and 10. I'm not the preacher you want to dismiss to the end because you'll miss a whole lot in the beginning. Job 23. If you're looking for a hoop, I might not hoop and you'll miss the whole sermon waiting on a hoop. Job 8, Job 23, verse 8 through 10. Do we have that? Job 23, verse 8. Glory to God. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Job 23, verse 8. Behold, I go forward, but he is not there. And backwards, but I cannot perceive him. On the left hand, where he doth work, but I cannot behold him. That's what Job said. He hideth himself on the right hand, and I cannot see him. Job says a whole lot of stuff about God I can't see. I don't know. There's stuff happening all around me. But he says, I take trust in this. Glory to God. He said, I take trust in this, verse 10. But he knows the way that I take. I don't know what's going on right now this season of my life. But he knows the way that I take. I don't know why my children took this course. But he knows the way that I take. Glory to God. Glory to God. I didn't see that coming, but he knows the way that I take. Glory to God. That unseen hand is called God's providence. The will of God working itself out among men. It, it, is, it is God's sin to everything. How I many know Isaiah 46 and 10 says, hallelujah, I declare your end from your beginning. Uh, and the ancient time things, hallelujah, for things not yet. He says, and my counsel shall stand. And I will accomplish my purpose. In other words, God said, I'm going to see to it. Ooh, I'm going to see to it. I am going to provide. I, I will provide. I will see to it that everything works together for the goals that I have. See, I'm after God's goals. I know you got a lot of goals. But what about God's goals for your life? What about God's goals? God's knowledge of the future includes not only everything that actually happens, but everything that could potentially happen. You got to trust God going into this school year. I can't get you. You get you got to send them out in Jesus' name. I can't get no. God knows what's happening. He knows what can potentially happen. But God said, "I'm looking on the sidelines. Is there anybody around that's gonna believe me? That's gonna trust?" Me? Even in our sickness and times of trial, those of us who are faithful to God know that he's still operating behind the scenes. That's why believers never lose hope, glory to God, when difficulties come. And we know that God is working. That's why I go ahead and praise him in advance because we know. Hallelujah. We endure the moment knowing that God is working in our situation and we will come forth as pure gold. Here's my first point and I'm going quick. Change your view. Look at somebody that said change your view. Change your view. All too often we do not view what we're going through correctly. Sometimes we struggle when we're going through because we don't view what we're going through correctly. We oftentimes begin to examine our past or current situation and look for the sin. What we did wrong that displeased the Lord to allow us to be in a position 
that we're causing such grief. But if you don't hear anything else I say this morning, and Elder Hill had touched on this a couple of weeks ago, glory to God. Trials are no evidence of being without God. Trials are no evidence of being, just because you're going through something, don't mean you without God. Job said, I got a revelation. Since trials come from God, Job said, did you read it? When he has tried me. Talking about the devil. When he has tried me. What? Job? Job say, I see God in this affliction. <laughs> That's why Job's, I'm getting excited. Though he slay me, yet will I. Lord, if you don't hear nothing else I say this morning, when he has tried me. See, you got to get God in this thing. Is that all right? Well the, well, the devil actually wrought the trouble. Yeah, but the Lord not only permitted it, he also had a design in it. And without the divine occurrence, none of his afflictions could have happened. Is that all right? It was God that tried Job. Glory to God. It is God that tries us. Y'all yes, don't like that. Y'all don't like that. Hallelujah. Glory. Notice I said tried, yes. not tempted. Yes. Come on. Y'all don't want to, because James 1 and 13 said, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt any man. I'm not talking about tempted, I'm talking about being tried. Because the trial of your faith working something on the inside of you. You better get God in the picture. No trouble comes without divine permission. I'm talking to King's kids. Glory to God. All the dogs of affliction are muzzled until God set them free. Did you hear what I just said? I said the dogs of affliction are muzzled until God. J the devil couldn't just touch Job. I can't get no back. He had to get permission. No, no, my brothers and sisters, glory to God, against none of the seed of Abraham can a dog move his tongue unless God permits it. Troubles don't just spring up out the ground like weeds and that grow randomly, but they grow orderly. <laughs> Ooh, I'm t there's an order to my what are you telling me? Glory to God. Hallelujah. God, 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 God appoints. The weight and the number of our adversities. I got another Bible. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord will deliver. You better change your view. God appoints the weight and the, and, and the number of our adversities. God is strategic. Hallelujah. If he declares the number 10... They cannot be 11. You can touch everything you want to with Job, but you can't touch his soul. I can't get nobody in here. Hallelujah. If he declares you're going to be in this for 28 days, it cannot be 29. If he wills that we bear a certain weight, you cannot add a half ounce more. Somebody throw your head back and say, God is in control. God is in control. Come on, say it again. God is in control. God is in control. God is. I don't like what I'm going through, but I see God in it. I see God. He going to work it for my good. He going to prepare it for my good. It's going to be good for me when I come out of this. Since every trial comes from God, afflictions, this is making somebody uncomfortable. Since every trial comes from God, afflictions are no evidence that you are out of God's way. He's simply preparing you. God never tests you to fail, but he does challenge you to grow. Ah, this didn't come for you to fail. 
It came so you can grow. It, it didn't come for you to fault. It came for you to grow. It came to mature you. It came to work for your good. It came to work for your I know, I know it's hard, but you're growing in the midst of this. God has strengthened your back. He's strengthened your arms. He's strengthened your legs. Y'all don't want to talk in here. Y'all don't want to talk in here. Sometimes God will use your children to grow you up. He'll use life circumstances to grow you. He'll use the hell on that job to grow you up. Yes, he will. Uh, he'll, he'll use that mean stepdaddy to grow you up. I can't get nobody. He'll use some fake friends to grow. It was hell, but I grew up. It was, <laughs> it was rough, but I grew up. Glory to God. Had a rough childhood, but I know what? I'm the better for it. I'm the better for it. I went through hell in my 20s, but I'm thriving in my 40s because he worked it. It grew me up. It grew me up. It grew me up. Hallelujah, glory to God. And this is what the Lord told me to tell you. I feel the anointing. Our Lord puts limits on our trials. For all you that think this is out of control and it'll never get in control, it's a limit on your trial. He promised he will not put more on you than you can bear. Look at somebody say, I know this look cray cray, but it's a limit on this. That's parameters on this. Can only go so far. Can only do so much. I know you think you're going to have a breakdown. You're not going to have a breakdown. There's limits on it. Bible says, there is therefore no temptation taken to you which is such as common to man. But God is faithful. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But with every temptation, he makes a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is that all right? Somebody say, the Lord put limits on my tree. He put limits. He put limits. According, according to the text, when, I'm almost done, when, when, he, whew, Lord Jesus, when he hath tried me. The trials that came to Job were made to be proofs that the patriarch was real and sincere. Didn't that the enemy say, have you not made a hedge about him and his house and all that he has on every side? And have you blessed the works of his hands and you didn't bless his possessions and you've increased the land, but put forth your hand now and touch all that he has and he'll surely curse you to your faith. The devil will have it that as dogs follow men for bones, so do we follow God for what we can get out of him. The Lord let, let oftentimes will allow the enemy to see that our love Love is not bought. <laughs> Woo, anybody with me this morning? My love for God ain't bought. It ain't bought by temporary things. My love for God ain't bought by a house and a car. And who's with me? I love him because I love him. I love him because he first loved me. I love him because he looked me on my Somebody say, I don't know what you know about it. But come on, say, my love ain't bought. And every now and then, the Lord will let the devil see that our love for him is not bought. I ain't going to backslide if I don't get no house. I ain't going to backslide if I don't get no promotion. I ain't going to backslide if I don't get married. I'm not going to backslide. The devil is a liar. And I ain't going to backslide if you don't want to be my friend anymore. I'm not going to backslide if you put your mouth on. The devil is a liar. And I don't know about Kassaya. And let me go a step further since I'm in there. We don't serve the Lord for what we can get out of it. I 
want the people get that got a witness this morning say if he never does anything else for me I'm still gonna serve him I'm still gonna love I thank him for Calvary's heel I thank him for dying on the cross I thank him for pardoning my sin I don't serve him for what I can get though I'm grateful for the benefits somebody say I don't come on help me sir help me come on I don't serve him for what I can get out of this come on say it again I don't serve him for what I can get out of this you don't serve the Lord for what you think you know why because it's a lot of times James I asked God for stuff and he didn't do it and he didn't do it in my timetable and he didn't do it when I wanted him to do it and he didn't do it how I wanted him to do it but in 2022 I'm still in church I'm still giving him glory. I'm still praising him. He's God if he do it for me or not. We're not, we're not mercenary followers, but loving children of the Lord. So that under dire circumstances, we exclaim, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Ain't no manipulation of witchcraft around here. I thank him for being God. I thank him for his sovereignty. I feel like preaching. I thank him that he's perfect in all of his ways. This Bible isn't no spell book. You cannot use it to control people or control God. I can't get nobody in here. Glory to God. That's what Jesus said. Let this come pass. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> blessed be the name of the Lord. <laughs> By the endurance of your trials, it's made manifest. And here's what the Lord told me this morning at 728. He said, in this season, it's proven. When you have endurance in your trials, when you have endurance in your trials, when you have endurance in your trial and you sincere, it is proven that we're, hallelujah, that we're not mere pretenders. But true heirs of God. See, folk that can keep on going, you're not pretenders. The Bible said, I was talking to somebody, yet the race is not given to the swift nor the strong. Everybody got them big words talking about, I, I'm with you. I'm the, I want to know, can you go through a trial or two? I want to know when the heat gets turned on. Can you still stand or were you just a pretender? Because you on that new church high, but I want to know when that wears off. I told somebody the other day, glory to God, I think I want to join your church. I said, don't join my church because you came to anniversary. <laughs> call, 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 call. That's a celebration. Our other service is different from that service. And I want to know, are you joining for the celebration or do you really want to wear with your soul? Because we ain't always going to buck and shout. I can't get nobody, but we all going to get delivered and get set free. I want to know what part do you want? Are we saying stuff like holiness is what I long for? I want to know. You going to come and we sing that? You going to come and we sing I want to be holy like you? You going you gonna to flow like that? You think I should join your church? I'm not going to tell you join my church because I, I don't know. Come a few more times and see if you still want to. Because there's holiness of hell around here. And we're going to preach it. I can't get it. Is that all right? 
Is that all right? Is that all right? Is that all right? You got to move into that place. Somebody say, I'm going to skip through this. Somebody say, move into the place. Change your view. Somebody say, change your view. No more pretending. See, God, it, got it. That's why advice to let the, let the wheat and the tail grow together. And after a while, the pretenders go ahead to shift. You hung around long enough. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. Somebody said, change your perspective, change your view, change your view. Do you see God in this trial? Where's God or is all the devil? Where's God in your trial? Where's God? But, but there's no comfort in the heart for this. We do not deny, glory to God, that the devil does bring about much of things that harass us. But you got to see when it comes to try, you got to see. God said, you must see me. He said to other people, they got to see me in everything. In everything. Don't go through nothing and don't see God. I can't get nobody in here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because I know they may be working ruckus in your life, but is he above the Lord God Almighty? You better see God and he's high and lifted up. I can't get nobody in here. Hold your head up. He's high and lifted up. Why your head down and he's high and lifted up? Lift up your head, all ye gates. And be ye lifted up the everlasting doors. The devil can't touch a hair on your head without God's permission. And when he is allowed to disturb or distract us, even then, it's only God using him to try us. Let us learn to look beyond the secondary causes and instruments to the one who worketh all things for the counsel of his will. The thing I love about Job was that he was in the furnace. He said, I'm coming out as fear go. But it was the furnace of God's appointment. It was the furnace of God's appointment, not because of Job's sin. God will use Job's affliction to purify him and make him a better man. You got to start prophesying why you in the midst of stuff. I'm going to come out of this a better man. I'm going to come out of this a better one. Who you thought I was good before? <laughs> I'm going to come out of this a whole... But when, when God, when God, when God puts his own people in the furnace, when God puts his own people in the furnace, he keeps his eye on the clock. And he keeps his hand on the thermostat. And he knows how long and how much. No. You ain't going to pop off this week. Because they already got six things that's on their nerves. One more thing can't pop off this week. It may pop off in two, but not this week. Because he know the way I take. He won't put no more on me than I can. Not this week. You ever ask somebody, say, oh, I was going to tell you two weeks ago. I'm glad you couldn't tell me two weeks ago. You could, you could. God didn't allow you to tell me two weeks ago. You had to tell me two weeks later when that wasn't going on. Now I can handle what you were going to say. You couldn't tell me two weeks ago. I've been knowing it, but I couldn't tell you. I know why you couldn't tell me. Because in the state I was in two weeks ago, I know why you didn't tell me two weeks ago. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Is that all right? He may question why he does it. He, he, we may question why he, he, he does it to begin with or why he doesn't turn down the heat or why he don't turn it off. But our questions are only evident. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, you got to understand something. You got to know who you are. I know my I'm going to be singing it all this week just in Sister Latasha's voice. I know my, because, because, because you, I'm going to say it just like that. Not my Jonathan Nelson voice, Letitia voice. I know my, because if you don't know your identity, <laughs> Ursula, can I tell you this? Gold does not fear the fire. The furnace can only make gold purer and brighter. That's what you got to tell trouble. You can only make me purer and brighter. But 
But if you don't know that you go, you're going to think God's picking on you. But when you know who you are, who I'm in the fire, but I'm getting more purified. Who I'm in the fire, but I'm getting brighter. Who I'm getting up, but I'm about to glow. I'm about to glow. I'm about to glow up. I'm about to. 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 Real go, Isaiah ain't afraid of the fire. It can only purify it more. Watch this, thus making it more valuable. The more I'm in, the more valuable I become. The more I'm in, the more costly I am. The, it's to look at somebody and say, ain't no cheap oil on this row. Ain't no cheap oil, ain't no cheap gold over here. This ain't no cheap house. I can't get nobody in here. This ain't no cheap people. Glory to God. Everything I've been through has made me more valuable. That's why you can't treat me like trash, talk to me like trash, dog me like trash. I done been through too much hell. You think you somebody, I am. You think you somebody, is. Look at somebody say, and is. Oh, it's a little revivalish in here. Because, because, real gold, not afraid of the fire. It can be purified more. Thus making it more valuable. Okay, I got an example. And when you know, Tone, what you got is real. Right. Tiffany, when you got, you know, back in the day, uh-oh, you know. When you couldn't afford real gold, you got that gold-plated stuff. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh... uh it look real, but don't wet it. I can't get near water. Can't sweat too much. I gotta go in the house. If not, it's gonna get a little green. I can't get nobody in here. We go. I know it look blingy, but this is only blinging under certain circumstances. Don't itch. Come on here. Don't get a rash. Come on here. But when you know you go, put me in any circumstances. When it's real go, tell put me in the sauna. Put me in the steam room. Put me in the heat. I can't get nobody. When it's real, I, when it's real, I jump all in the pool with it. You <laughs> I'll go to Galps and get in the beach with it and swim all day long in your face because I know what I got is real. Two more. Th oh, I'm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. He's preparing you for them. I believe certain challenges, sometimes difficulties in our life. We, 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 you know, God preparing you. He prepare. You know, who He's preparing you for all the stuff you're going through for them. Who is them? Some of them you don't even know yet. <laughs> God's working our lives. It's not intended solely for us. We got to reach the world that doesn't recognize and acknowledge him. The Lord uses our challenges to equip us for serving others. After you've been converted. 
don't sit there with your converted self and don't do nothing. After you've been converted, go back. Keys the key. Strengthen. After all you've been through, it was not just for you. Your story. Your te- that needs, that's your testimony, but it ain't just for you. And sit back and say, God, show been good to me. Who you done told? No, I've been somewhere. I've sat where you've sat. We experienced trials. You learned about God's all sufficiency. Our testimonies during 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 then during times of difficulty will be authentic. Those who we minister to will recognize that we know and understand their pain. Yeah, I got Bible knowledge. Yeah, I got scripture, chapter, book, chapter, verse. But I got some experience too. What credibility would we have with people in crisis if we never experienced a deep need? I found out something. When you done been through something, you got a whole nother level of compassion. When you done been suicidal, you don't look down on suicidal folk and say, why don't they just live? You got a whole different level. When you done been on drugs and strung out, you don't look at somebody, that's a shame they're on the court. You got a whole different level. Is that all right? Is that all right? He knows the way that I take. And when he had tried me, I got to close this. I'm not done, but I'm going to close it. Give me James 1 and 2. Let me close on this. James 1 and 2. Hey, 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 hey. My brethren, count it. All joy when you fall into various trials. King James said diverse temptation, but it ain't temptation like you think when you interpret it as trials. Different trials. Any spiritual growth that will ever take place in your life will always be accompanied in some way by trials of life. Okay, okay. Is that all right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it just me or did I read that right? Joy in tribulation? James, how can you say such a thing to me? Count it all joy. I mean, after all I've been through, when they come, you know, when, when trials come, something seems like the worst of me comes out. Glory to God. I start to fear and worry, and it's usually not pretty. Bless the Lord. Sometimes I'm guilty, unforgiving. Come on. My preference would be, glory to God, that, 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 that trials would stay away. And you telling me to count temptation as joy? Do you properly understand? You got to have an understanding of God's joy and mercy. God is getting the right perspective on two things to change your viewpoint. The joy of the Lord should never be based on your circumstance. That's why praising God is a big deal. And some of you should learn to praise God more. Because praising the Lord is huge in getting us into the joy of the Lord. Sometime I didn't dance my way into joy. Because it takes my mind off the problem and put it on what it truly belongs, on the one that can solve the problem. And then that gives me joy. First time I read it, I'm closing. Brother, count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptation. My, I had a difficult time understanding. Is that all right? Glory to God. Hallelujah. But, but another word for joy is delight. Divers mean different. Is that all right? So he said, my brethren, count it all joy or count it delight when you fall in different type of trial. My head couldn't figure it out. Glory to God. But you have to move into the place. Is that all right? Somebody said move into the place. What he said, anyone can count something joyful when it's going his way. When everything going your way, it's easy to smile. It's easy to kick up your heels. Glory to God. How good is our God? Ain't he good? He's a mighty good God. Is that all right? Sometimes it's a little difficult. Hallelujah. But when you're going through something, it's a little difficult to uh, express joy. But can I tell you something? Joy is the fruit of the reborn. Recreated human spirit. When you were born again, the force of joy was placed on the inside of you. The biblical joy we're talking about is not based on circumstances. We're talking about the joy of God. 
can't get nobody in here. If joy is based on my circumstances, we will never see God clearly and understand his purpose and plan for our life. Our joy is not based on circumstances, but on our relationship with Jesus Christ. That's why the more time you stay with him and in him, the more joy you have. Joy is more to do, glory to God. Joy has more to do with remaining in the presence of Jesus than with avoiding problems. So you think you'll have joy if you avoid problems. Happiness is a state of mind. Joy is a mindset. Happiness comes and goes. Joy can be constant. Happiness is dependent. Joy is independent. Happiness is conditional. Joy is unconditional. Happiness is based on circumstance. I'm happy when it's happening. But joy, and he gives me joy. Because the Lord knows it's going to be different seasons of your life. Happy based on certain. If she like me. If he like me, then I'm happy. If she doesn't, then I'm not happy. Is that all right, Glory? Well, let me tell you, if it's all based on what's happening, what you going to do in the in-between times? You're going to walk around like a sour puss. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And got a poor witness. You can still have joy when they're not in your life anymore. If my joy was based on who can come and go. Joy is, a, is resident and potential in you. I like to call joy a force. Because it can develop and become a force in your life. Somebody say it's the fourth. Say it again, it's the fourth. Is that all right? Glory to God. And you got to stop, you got to stop giving everything to everybody. I got to just stop. You just be throwing scriptures at people, don't even apply to them. Giving folks, see, they ain't going to tell you that. Giving folk false hope. My brethren, count it all joy. I ain't talking to everybody. I'm talking to my brethren. I'm talking about folks. I'm talking to save folks. I'm talking about folks that just accept them to the blood. My brethren counted all joy. Because the joy we got didn't come from the world. It came from what God. You be giving folks scripture all out of context. That's another sermon. That's another sermon. That's, that's the. <laughs> so he uses Sabians to, to destroy Job's Shahirds, Chaldeans to slay his servants, and he calls the great wind to kill his children. Is that all right? In Revelation 2 and 10, I won't have you turn there. He told him, Fear none of those things which you should suffer. He was talking to the to suffering saints in Smyrna. John wrote, Fear none of those things. What you suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in prison that you may be tried. Is that all right? But I don't want you to feel none of those things. Because I'm with you. Somebody say, I'm with you. Is that all right? Somebody say, I'm with you. Last point. The, the Lord said, don't fear through this. No matter what you're going through, no matter what season of your life, don't fear through it. You can go through it, but don't fear through it. Faith it. Don't fear through it. Is that all right? Why? Because God is preparing you today for some greater tomorrow. But fear. And you know what the Lord told me? I'm closing on this. You gotta, when, when you in faith and when there's influence on your life, you got to watch sometime what you say out loud. Right. Everything you say, you got to watch what you say out loud. See, I understand I'm a person of influence. I got to even watch sometime my preferences. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Sometimes I gotta say, just let it go. It's not your thing. Just let it go. My opinions. I gotta watch what I say. Case in point. Your kids always in the sermon sometimes, but I got permission to, to use this. And I ain't throwing nobody on the bus because I heard God in it yesterday. I made breakfast for the kids. Because the one thing I can cook is breakfast. Somebody ought to say, Praise the Lord. I stay in my lane. You come to the house on a Saturday morning, Bishop's cooking breakfast. And uh, so, 
So I say, y'all want something to drink for breakfast? We had no orange juice. I say, y'all want apple juice? The cow was in the table already eating, had his cup of apple juice. Uh-huh. Kendall, you want some apple juice? I don't want that apple juice. I said, Kendall, why you don't want that? That apple juice tastes like medicine. <laughs> And she kept going on. Kyle, you drinking that apple juice? That apple juice tastes like medicine. (laughs) Is that all right? And I thought about it. And I said, Kendall, don't do that. He's already drinking apple juice. So I go back in and come back out. Kyle, you left the apple juice. Why did you have to? That apple juice tastes like medicine. And I looked in the jug, and ain't but that much apple juice left. But, but Kyle, you've been drinking it all this time. But because somebody older with more influence came in and said it tastes like medicine, that wasn't even a seed in your brain till somebody else said it. And now nobody want to. Because everybody in the house. Kaylee, you want to try it? Uh-uh. Because somebody of influence said, because that's your preference, that's your opinion, that don't mean that's for everybody. And when you kingdom, you got to start doing stuff for the greater good. You bringing out negatives that somebody else might not see. Sometimes you got to listen to God when he said, be quiet. That's your preference, but be quiet. They enjoying that. They don't see the problem that you see. Stuff is out of order, it's out of order. But they don't see it as out of order. Let them have fun and be out of order. I mean, if it's something that's not, you know, you understand what I'm saying, right? But you got to watch your influence. You got to watch when you in fear. Don't spew fear off on somebody else. Be quiet. Take it to God in prayer. Tell somebody. You got to tell the whole community. Am I talking? Is I'm talking? Is that all right? You making your opinion. And people pick up stuff. And then you got seeds on stuff. Is that all right? Now I got this much apple juice. Ain't nobody going to drink. And Kendall, but daddy, it do say, I'm not telling you to you it don't taste like apple juice. But you don't got to drink it. But somebody else that didn't see a problem with it. We hear you, but you an example. Don't make an issue out of something that's not their issue. issue. I don't know why I went there. I don't know why I went there. I don't know why I went there. Come on. And Kendall wasn't being smart. Come on, clap your hands. She wasn't being smart. She was being real. It was, it, was, it was a teaching lesson. It was a teaching lesson. She said about five times, that tastes like medicine. <laughs> and Kyle did not drink the rest of his apple juice. Is that all right? Is that all right? And sometimes you got to make disclaimer. That's what I do, but I'm not trying to stop you from doing what you do. That's just my prayer. That's what I don't do. Come on, clap hands and give God praise. Amber Alert's coming on. Maybe time to go. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Over to God. If you receive this word, make some noise for Jesus. Because I'm asking, I don't know about you, but He prepared me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm on this consecration. He prepared me for some stuff. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor had entered the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Father, thank you for grace on this word today. Thank you for your anointing. We've heard from you this morning. Thank you for revelation that flows from your word. Thank you, Lord, that we receive glory to God all that you've given us today. And I thank you, God, that you keep us, condition us, help us to stay in this time of preparation. Glory to God for your glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Move throughout our lives, oh God.